activity is called rubric strikers. So uh, we're working on striking skills, so we're using the putters. For the little guys, we use pool noodles. So you can use that, you can use your hands. Uh, this could be even one you can probably use for kicking. So uh, what we end up putting down the middle is we put poly spots down the middle, and then we have these cubes. I, I just bought, these are four by four by four boxes. Uh, and then uh, use a uh, marker, and we've been coloring the sides of them. So one of every color, kind of like Rubik's Cube. It's kind of where this idea came from a little bit. And then what we had to do is we had to have uh, to set it up. You match the top because this is a, like a two-level activity, so this is level one. I forgot to tell you that. So they all match the poly spot that they're on. All right, and the boxes were pretty cheap. I got like 50 of them for 17 dollars. I mean, cheap. Uh, we also put poly spots down both sides of the gym uh, that match the hula hoop and ball. The hula hoop you'll find out about in just a minute what we're going to do there. And then on both sideline, base, uh, sorry, baseline for the gym, we you can see I have color on yellow, blue, purple, I have red, green, and orange on the other side, and they all have a different type of equipment with it. So I've got like bean bag uh, starters, these squishies, bean bags, and then whatever on the other side, like beanie babies, big bag animals, like dice or something on the other side. So whatever you want to have that as their point reward system, it's up to you what you have on your campus. Use whatever you got. So we tell the students the ball goes on the five spot, so we have larger class larger class sizes. So the partner is in the hoop against the wall, so that when I make my backswing, I go hit my partner. So my goal is to hit the ball using the stroke, using a stroke, putting stroke, and get it to hit a box. Okay, let's see if I can do it. Probably won't be able to. So I do my stroke and. Hopefully it'll hit a box. It's gonna go right in between. See, I told you I missed it. We're gonna pretend to actually hit that one in a moment. Uh, so my putter, we don't let the students take this with them. They either place it down or they hand it to their partner. Now, if you have a smaller class size and plenty of space, I would have the kids go by themselves. The more active, the better they are. So I put it down and then we have them run out to go get their ball and then run back. Let's pretend that my ball hit that purple dot right there. All right, not dot, sorry. Ah. Hit the purple box. So hit the purple box. Beep. All right. Sometimes this falls off. I tell the kids, just put it back on with that color up. And then I go over to the purple cone and I take the item that was at the purple cone and I go back. All right. So then if I would have that, my turn or my partner's turn, they go again. So that's layer one. Layer two, we added another little twist to it. So layer two is we added some cooperation along with uh, individual working with your partner. So everybody that's a team purple would be on my team. Everybody with orange, green, they're all on the same team. So now when I hit the ball, and it hits the box, not only do I go to the color showing on the top, which this one was orange, now I take the ball, I kind of like you see next to me here, and I turn it to my color, which is purple, and I put purple in. So now I would go to orange, because that's what what was showing, I go to orange, I take from orange, I take it back. So now my goal as a team member is to try to help get as many cubes as we can turn so purple's up. All right, and everybody else obviously doing the same. So at the end of the activity, we looked to see how many were all one color. That was our big team winner. And then we did the individual winner and we mixed it up. We might have said, okay, who has one of every from every colored item? Or my like said, two bean bag scars, two beanie babies, and two um, uh, dice. So they had had two of all those in order to win. So kind of mix it up, make it as you as you see fit for your students. And I hope yours will enjoy this one as much as ours have. I'm Coach Pro reminding you.